I'm Debbie from the home of interiors.co.uk and this video is going to talk you through the linings options on our website as part of our made to measure Roman blind making service. When um, specifying a Roman blind, giving consideration to the lining is an important requirement. Um, and this may be from a visual perspective, you may wish to improve the drape of the blind or add fullness and body to the blind, or it may be from a functionality perspective. So you may be looking for a blackout requirement, um, protection to your face fabric from sun damage, um, or thermal properties um, to retain heat in the room and reduce drafts. There's a plethora of linings available on the market and at the Home of Interiors we have refined this down so that we still offer breadth of choice but just, just make the decision making process um, easier for, for the customer. We also specify premium linings and we only use the best linings on the market that have been specified um, by our curtain makers. They have years of experience in the industry and really know how the linings are going to behave and to really improve the drape um, and look of the finished result. We pride ourselves on the quality of our makeup service um, and our blinds are hand finished so we hand stitch the lining to the face fabric um, and this is just an example here just to show you that lovely hand stitching all the way down the side of the blind and this improves the drape of the blind and the longevity of the blind um, as the face fabric and lining can react sometimes differently under atmospheric conditions and tight machine stitching um, just doesn't enable the face fabric just to to react as, as it wants to, um, so it does improve the look and longevity of the blind. When you specify a lined blind on our website, this is a premium um, standard lining, so it hasn't got any blackout properties, um, but it is a cotton sateen lining um, with a beautiful drape and handle and really does improve the, um, the finished look of the blind. I've just got an example here of a standard lining that we don't specify, um, which is just shown here, versus our um, standard white lining. And uh, as you, I don't know how much you can see, um, but the, the one that we don't use is quite thin, um, and ours is, is thicker and it's really soft and just gives a lovely drape to the blind. The standard linings that we offer um, are available in four colours. So we do the white, the almond, so the almond is just an off-white there. We do an ivory, which is just slightly, a very, very light cream. And with the rise in popularity of anthracite windows and bifold doors and sliding doors um, and sort of dark grey exteriors or even black, we offer a um, grey lining as well. Um, so that if you want tonally, if you want the blind um, you know, to sort of tonally work from the outside, the grey lining might, might be um, suitable for your requirements. We also offer the ivory lining in a wide width, um, which means if you're ordering a wide width fabric and you have a wide blind, it'll mean that we can make the blind without any joins in it, and as such, it's nice for the lining to complement that. So if you order a Roman blind with, um, with a wide width fabric and your blind is over the width of a standard width fabric, which is around 140, we'll specify the wide width lining for you to just give, really give that polished, neat finish. If blackout is a requirement and we offer a blackout option, it's 100% polyester blackout that we use and it's three pass. Some blackout linings can be a little bit stiff, um, but we only use the softest blackout linings um, and ones that have been approved by our curtain makers. We offer the blackout lining in three colours. Um, so we have white and almond that I'll show you just there. And we also offer a pearl option, which is just going a little bit creamer than the almond. A blackout lining is thicker than a standard lining, so that can help to retain heat um, and reduce drafts. Um, with the blackout linings being 100% polyester, they also resist water and damp moisture um, conditions, so are suitable for kitchens and bathrooms. With regards to a blackout lined blind, um, the fabric will be blackout with the blackout lining, um, but the way that we attach the rod pockets to the lining is that we use the, the lining to form the pockets, um, and as such, you will get a very small line of stitching um, where the rod pockets have been joined and light may penetrate through those stitches. If um, blackout is a really, is really high importance, um, high priority for you, you may wish to consider um, a bonded blackout lining which will reduce the light penetration coming through the little holes. For a fuller, more luxurious blind, we also offer the option of a bonded lining and we offer bonded standard and bonded blackout linings. A bonded interlining uses a sateen lining 
um, on the outer side bonded to a sumptuous fleece padded lining on the inside. And I've got the standard linings here to show you available in cream and white. So these are the bonded standard interlinings. We also offer a blackout bonded interlining in white, ivory and almond. And I'll just show you those now. So that's the ivory versus the white. And then we've got the almond. I'll just show you the almond versus the white. And the almond versus the ivory, just so you can see the colour difference. As the lining is thick, this also offers um, thermal properties, so it will help to reduce any drafts around your window. We um, specify the bonded interlinings rather than a, um, a separate interlining where you would have your face fabric, your interlining and then your blackout lining. And we prefer the, um, the bonded interlinings as we believe these deliver a crisper, neater finish to the blind and really lovely straight lines when the blind is folded up. The bonded interlining adds weight to the blind um, which results in a luxurious polished finish. We have added an ultimate blackout option on our website which uses a blackout um, bonded interlining with a blackout lining on top of this. So you will in, in essence have three um, layers, you'll have your face fabric, your bonded um, blackout lining and then a blackout lining on the top. And what this will do will reduce the, um, the visible pinholes from the um, rod pockets. Um, but you will still get the stab stitching um, where the face fabric is attached to the lining and this is unavoidable in a Roman blind makeup process. With regards to a bonded blackout lined, uh, blind, um, the pinholes um, are, ve are very small um, and the light penetration um, can vary depending on which way your room faces and the type of fabric that you've used. Um, they're often not visible at all, um, so you, you don't really need to upgrade to the ultimate blackout option unless blackout is a really high priority for you. And with regards to a blackout lined blind as well, the, um, the blind will become blackout and the fabric will be blackout, um, but please note there may still be light penetration around the edges of the blind. If you're fitting within a recess, um, we would recommend measuring wall to wall and then it's down to personal preference whether you take a centimetre off that so the edges of the blind don't rub against the walls or whether you just give us the wall to wall measurement. Um, if you deduct the centimetre, um, you will have a 5mm gap either side, um, which will ensure, as, as I said, the, the fabric doesn't rub on the walls, but it, the light will penetrate through that very small gap. Um, if you go wall to wall, um, it will reduce the light penetration down the side, but the fabric may just rub on the side walls. So it's just down to personal preference. Um, if you're fitting the blind outside the recess, um, the brackets project the blind about 3cm away from the wall, so again you will have light penetration around the edges of the blind. Again, another option that you could consider is layering your blind. So you could have blackout curtains in front of your blackout Roman blind. And again, this will just help to give it extra layers um, and reduce any light coming into the room. We do offer the option of unlined Roman blinds on our website. And these are great for voils or shears or semi-sheer fabrics when you want a nice, light, airy, floaty feel. With regards to fabrics, we appreciate there's a wide range of um, options on the market. And we are here to re help you refine your search. On our website, we have refined our fabrics and categorised them by fabric type, functionality and design and look. So please use the filters to, to refine your search and help you find the perfect fabric more quickly. Um, but please do use our services. We're here to help um, and really pull together a curated range for you. So we can arrange for fabric swatches to be sent out, um, but just a, you know, off, still offer you breadth of choice, um, but not overwhelm you with too much choice. If you have a, a specific fabric and look that you're, you're, you're after, um, please email us the details and we can pull together um, some fabrics that meet that brief. Or if you just like some design ideas and inspiration, um, please get in touch and we can help with that as well. So we can be as broad or as specific as, as you need. If you can send any photos of your windows and your room and any furniture that's staying, that will just help us pull together a coordinated look for you. Please get in touch. Please email sales at thehomeofinteriors.co.uk or please call us on 01590 615 775 and we'd be delighted to help. We also have some trend guides on our website, so please use those for design ideas and inspiration. We hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have, please do give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to be kept up to date with new product news, product information and useful hints and tips. Thank you for watching.